Sign number one. You always seek challenges. Do you see obstacles as challenges in your life? Do you create challenges for yourself when there are none? If so, you might be more likely to be an INTJ if you are always up to compete with others or even yourself. It makes INTJ people feel more fulfilled and more self-confident to defeat hardships in life, even if it's only them who perceive these hardships as problems. No wonder they are likely to head to the top of their professions. Due to their challenge-seeking attitude, they adapt and improve quickly. Their ability to overcome difficult situations in life is a gifted talent. No matter how many achievements are collected in their arsenal, they always remain eager to look for new adventures. Do you raise your hand first when there's a new project opportunity at your meeting? Do you get excited by the difficulty of a situation? Well, it could be the first sign that you are an INTJ. Sign number two. You are more introverted than extroverted. INTJ people are private and like to withdraw from society. This is an opportunity for them to nourish their ideas and plan in order to find solutions to unanswered problems. While most of the time we tend to confuse being introverted with being less social or talkative, in reality, introverted people can be social. The real distinction lies within their focus in everyday life. Most introverted people are looking inward and they are occupied with their own thoughts. This is how INTJ people work. It's normal for them to leave a place in the middle of a conversation or a group of friends on the peak of laughter and joy. It is not about getting fed up with the people they are surrounded with. It is about their need to spend time with their own thoughts. It may also be the case that they have become self-absorbed, meaning they exclude some external factors like friends, family, or social media. During that time, it is crucial for them to remain in that flow by not being interrupted. It may cause them problems in maintaining connections with others, but again, this is also a chance for them to invent new things or ideas. Are you getting back home early from a party because of a sudden strike of ideas? Do you like to have conversations that make you think deeply? Do you like to be in your own head? Then it's time to think about being an INTJ. Sign number three, you're very independent. If you're a student, what is the likelihood that you'll ask for help from your classmate to finish your homework? Probably for an INTJ person, the chances are low. They feel proud and independent and they rarely ask for help or get into situations when their responsibility is taken from them. To some people, it makes them seem strong, but to others, they will sometimes seem cold. As mentioned before, problem-solving and challenge-seeking is a driving force for them. They don't want these challenges to slip away or be dealt with by others. They get the job done alone. They prefer to work independently. Teamwork is only a source of ideas for them. This kind of attitude also prevents them from wanting to conform and fit into society. They like to do things their own way and they like to keep it that way. Because of this, they have a distaste for people who follow norms and rules like sheep. Did you fly out from your family nest early? Do you like to work alone? Do you think you can solve problems alone without any help? This is one more sign that you belong to the small group of INTJ people. Sign number four. You cannot live without goals. Goals, goals, and more goals. For an INTJ person, it is unimaginable to live without goals. They are not the kind of person to just sit at home, watching TV all day without even taking the trash outside. If they cannot pursue something they are interested in, they will feel stressed. They need to establish some plans for the future as they mostly look forward in life. They often ask themselves, what can I do to reach new limits? Once the goal is established, they are unstoppable. Procrastination is a big no for them. Often, the hardship for them is to maintain a balance between their goal-oriented mindset and other aspects of life such as family or friends. Do you feel nervous and empty when you have no goals on the horizon? 
it might be another sign for you. Sign number five. It's difficult for you to talk about emotions. Do you see those conversations uncomfortable when your best friend comes to you and pours everything out about a breakup? Do you find it hard to find the words when they ask you, how do you feel in this situation? If the answer is yes, you are just like other INTJ people. While words come easy for them when they use their rational vocabulary and thinking, their emotional side is quite hard to be reached. This is not because they do not have empathy. It's just their logical way of thinking doesn't allow them to see emotions clearly since emotions are not always rational and reasonable. Does it apply to you? Do you get frustrated by feelings? One more sign that you might be an INTJ. Sign number six. You like to observe. Observation is the key for INTJ people to see the complicated connections between things. Despite their intense focus on their inner world, they like to turn their attention to the outside world for gaining more information. Once they get driven by an inspirational event, they start to analyze and look for patterns. It's easy for them to see the system in everything. It makes them organized and well-navigated in life. If you are an INTJ, you may have recognized the pattern in our video structure. Sign number 7. You are meticulous. Thanks to their systematic view of the world and the abundance of information they absorb, INTJ people are meticulous. Whether it comes to a speech or simply expressing their thoughts, they plan before saying it out loud. They fall into the category of people who think before they speak. When they have an idea, they need to explain it in detail. They are not satisfied with small talk and chit chat. Others often admire their passion and brilliant mind, however, not everybody can understand them totally. Because of this, it can be difficult for them to find someone who matches their abilities and with whom they can thrive together. Do you like to explain things deeply? Do you like things to be in order? Sign number 8. You tend to be overcritical. Dealing with a brilliant mind is not easy. INTJ people recognize mistakes much more than others. Due to their need for accuracy, they cannot stand if something is faulty. They tend to forget that we are all humans and it is natural that sometimes we make mistakes. Being overcritical is not only harmful for them socially, but also for themselves. When they see the problems in others' lives, they feel an urge to fix it. It means that their focus is concentrated on these negative aspects and they won't be shy in raising an issue. Nobody likes to be faced with their problems all the time, especially if it's your friend who is being harsh on you. And we all know, how you behave with others tells a lot about how you treat yourself. INTJ people's big task is to find the balance between trying to improve on weaknesses and being satisfied with what they already have. Sign number 9. You are not satisfied with small goals. We have already mentioned that INTJ people need goals in their life. However, it's also important that the bigger the goal, the more excited they get. They are not going to pursue things that have a poor outcome. They need to seek the highest challenges and they need to see constant improvement in their dedication to them. Thanks to their passion for planning, it makes them eager to find high-level tasks with many opportunities to develop. Are you satisfied just to plod up a hill? Or do you prefer striving to reach the peak of a mountain? Sign number 10. You prefer rationality above all. The ultimate sign that you could be an INTJ personality type is that you choose your brain over your heart most of the time. INTJ people are born fact-based thinkers. They rely on evidence and rational explanations. For them, sciences are the true sources of knowledge. No surprise that they tend to choose professions related to chemistry, math, biology, or physics. What is your dream occupation? What do you think about in your everyday life? Are you a more rational or a more emotional person? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. 
For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Be sure to also check out this playlist of our other videos. Thanks for watching, take care!